Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So a couple of things have happened between episodes. The first thing we did was you jump planets to Dnieper here. Uh, if we're going to go to uh, Star Map real quick, pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. I believe it's a French word. It could be Nipier. But it's usually I-E-R if it's E-A, so it's probably Dnieper. Um, anyway, so this is a World Alliance controlled. Um, it's three and a half skulls, so it's not too bad. It was just, you know, we were right here. We just jumped over here. It's not very far. So we're going to work on flipping this more towards uh, Draconis Combine today. Um, so that's the first thing. The second thing is in Mac Bays. Um, so I played around with a few loadouts for the Catapult. Uh, one, I had an LRM-55 set up in there. wasn't really working for me. Um, once again, it's just because... You know, we got limited hard points. Now, there is plenty of space in here to do stuff with. Um, we've got a nice big 260 core, so we don't really have to add um, much to increase speed or anything. But um, for the missiles, we don't really have any upper arm actuators to help out with the, with the launchers. I had two clan LRM-15s in here, an LRM-15 double plus over here, and a clan LRM-10 to give us 55 launchers. Uh, plenty of ammo which filled up this torso and then I had a couple of ER medium lasers which really you know it was giving us we were overheating um, and it was the damage output is okay but for a 65 ton mech I wanted to try something else I did try putting the arrow system in here but we've only got five rounds for it so it's really not for the weight right now it's really not worth putting it in so we can get another ton of ammo for it uh, I am keeping my eyes open in the stores, and if we encounter another mech that's got an arrow system, we'll definitely try and salvage as much as we can. But right now, not much we can really do. Uh, this really isn't made for a short-range build either, so, I mean, putting streaks in here is just kind of a waste of space. I mean, we could put streaks and then a couple of ERPPCs, but, uh, I don't know. Uh, right now, I'm just going to leave it. Um, let's just see how things go. Uh, what we can do, though, is if we have a look at, and then uh, let's get back out of here. Okay, we could have a look at the uh, Griffin, which right now we have, uh, is it the Griffin? No, where is it here? Um, uh, Raptor? No, what am I thinking of? I don't know. Oh, you know what it is I'm thinking of? Um, yeah, I'm thinking of the uh, Falcon Freeborn with our uh, Griffin with the uh, LRMs. But we, uh, yeah, so we don't have any LRMs in here. I just thought we could move them, but we don't really have anything right now to move into here. So, um, yeah, there's not much we can really do about that. So we're just going to go and take a bunch of missions, see what kind of salvage we can get. Now, before I moved to this planet, I did pull off one um, two-and-a-half skull... Uh, assassinate mission for sea bills. We ended up with 1.7 million sea bills. So what I was able to do, if we go into this bushwhacker here, which is our new one, this is the one that Bobby is piloting now. I left the rack five and I toyed around with switching it out to ERPPCs. This is if we can get some heavier pinpoint damage, and we could, but the overall damage just dropped dramatically. Um, we lost a lot of our sinking. It was basically an ERPPC here, large laser, and a pair of X pulses in the center torso. I uh, wasn't really that happy with it. So what I ended up doing was uh, I dropped in the Clan XL engine in here, um, and which allowed me to drop in a slightly bigger core. Now, someone was mentioning, and I apologize for forgetting who it was now, somebody was mentioning about cores and speed so I had a 200 core in here before now normally in regular battle tech what you do is you take the mech weight and you multiply it by however many hexes you want to move for so for instance if you want to move four six with a 55 ton mech you would end up multiplying 55 times four we get a you get 220 and you put in a 220 engine walk is four run is six now that's not really working the same here. So I had a 200 core in here before. It was giving me a, a cruise speed of 110 and a top speed of 185, which when I looked up here, it was giving me a 58 movement speed. And now I put a 225 core in, which requires one less heat sink, which is good because I saved, I was able to increase my heat sinking slightly. Um, however, at 120 and 200 meters, 
um, it's still 5.8. So once again, I'm going to reiterate what I did say in that post. I don't think the math that the game is actually creating for the engine size based on mech weight is exactly the same as the tabletop version. So the difference between the 200 and the 225 here is like 10 meters per 10 meters per turn max move and then max sprint an extra 15 meters um, which is works at the same value in hex values but it really depends on what they're what the weighting of like moving through trees and through water um, causes you uh, and that will determine your final hex speed so it's not so much a finite um, calculation as it was on the tabletop version so just keep that in mind when you are putting cores in I was pretty sure that was how they did it here because I remember thinking about that earlier on when I was first playing the original Battletech and I realized it doesn't really make that much difference so just keep that in mind really what you're looking for um, roughly is the you know the number of hexes that you can move and your heat sinking per ton so if I go down um, 25 down to a two, 200 core my speed is basically the same but I require an extra heat sink right so in order to save space I just increase this then I was able to put uh, an ER medium laser here in the center we had a clan ER small in here um, this gives us a little bit more damage and a little bit more while well, the range is about the same but a little bit more damage for almost the same heat and I dropped a heat sink cooling pot in as well um, just to give us a bit better sinking. We were pretty much bang on 75, 75. Before I put that in, now it's 78, 72. So we can run a little hotter, uh, but like we can fire all our weapons and still stay relatively cool. Um, so that's kind of a good thing. Plus the rotary auto cannon generates more heat the more you shoot. So, you know, you wanna just, you know, be able to, you know, deal with that. Uh, at least I'm pretty sure it does. But anyway, um, so let's just go back. Let's just start taking the contracts here. There's a few good ones on the planet that I want to take. And we're going to start off with an Outworlds Alliance contract because we don't want to completely lose favor with Outworlds Alliance. Um, so if we go to contracts real quick, we're going to take one with them first. And then we'll go with, um, so we got Men of the People as an escort mission. Um, scientific Emergency. This one was... Uh, career to rescue. This would be an escort. So there's a lot of escort missions here. Hard contact is a battle. Uh, uh, it's a local. It's a local government force. Uh, two lances of max at four and a half skulls. We could take that, but uh, I think maybe we take an escort mission. The Holobid propaganda is a defend base. Settling a grudge is relatively easy to take. It's against Outworld Alliance. Um, Coupe, we could take this, but, um, you know, once again, the salvage is really lousy at four and a half skulls. I mean, we can get some important systems maybe out of this, but um, there's better chance of taking things like this. So I think what I'll probably do is take this one here. It's a four skull. Um, it's an escort mission, it's good, 521 salvage, so it's really good salvage, chance to pick up lots of good parts at four skulls, hopefully we can find some heavy heavy mech parts. So we're gonna take this one first. Now let's have a look really quick in the mech bay for heavy mechs, let's see what we got. So we did lose the Thunderbolt a couple of episodes back, which I was really sad about, but um, you know, it is what it is, we can't do much about it. Um, so let's have a look in heavy here. So we do have several, yeah, we're really close to getting another catapult. So that's another thing we could get. Um, yeah, so Thunderbolt, we've got like four parts here. So we might be able to pick up a Thunderbolt if we get really lucky. Uh, Marauder we could pick up. Archer, or Athena I guess it is. Um, champion, so we think we've got more than just three Champion parts. I'd have to look around here. Um, the uh, Alexander mech, the, uh, I call it the Onaker because that's what it looks like. Uh, it's a Ryan 1 KAR, which is the Kerensky mech. So we, we, if we encounter one of those, and we can salvage it, five parts of that would be kind of nice. It um, would be interesting to see what kind of uh, individual quirks this thing has. Uh, Clan Archer, which I don't think we'll ever encounter uh, here. But the regular Archer, we've got four parts of. Uh, Gungnir, we've got four parts. Dragon, we've got five, uh, three parts. 
regular Orion. I don't think that counts towards this. We got another drag. Oh, this is Grand Dragon. Uh, Grasshopper. Hellfire. So yeah, I mean, we'll keep our eyes open. Yeah, we do have... Yeah, there's three more champion parts there. And then we had three more down here somewhere. Yeah. So let's keep our eyes open for stuff like this. Catapults, champions, whatever we can get a hold of. Now, Assault Mechs, I don't think we really have anything close. Godzilla we do. And Boar's Head we do. But that's about it. All right. Let's go back. And let's get this sucker done here. So, men of the people. Let's help this guy out. Yeah, so dropping that Clan XL engine in the Bushwhacker uh, cost me 1.1 million C bills. Alright. I kind of like this map for escorts. I used to hate it, but I kind of like it. Had several good successes on this one. The fact that we start off on a, up on a hill is nice. And the enemies spread out. The second uh, leg of the enemy is relatively easy to take care of. It's just used to the last leg, depending on what happens. So, the catapult. Uh, the other thing I meant to mention about it is we've got um, two MRM-30s and an MRM-40. And somebody mentioned, and once again I'm apologizing because I don't remember who it was. Somebody had mentioned maybe doing an MRM loadout. Uh, it wasn't on that particular mech, but they, I believe they had mentioned using doing an MRM loadout on the um, uh, night gear that we picked up in... Uh, Falcon Freeborn. Uh, so actually I might actually do that on a catapult. Now because I do have the plus one damage uh, missile fire control system. Uh, let's get to a position where we can make a strike on these guys. A little closer I think. Roger. Um, so what I want to, what I'll probably attempt to do is maybe do an MRM build. The only problem is, ooh Grand Dragon. Uh, Okay, there's the catapult. We'll get a catapult part for sure. Raptor 2 uh, is at least one on one of our two catapults now. Um, we'll do a loadout with um, MRMs. Uh, the problem is, is I've only got a half ton of MRM ammo. That's all I've got right now. Uh, so unfortunately I can't do very much with it. But we'll have to look. on. There's nothing on this planet, but we'll have a look around and see if we can find some. Um, so who's really the threat? Grand Dragon probably. Although the Raptor, 44. Uh, yeah, this guy's we got a way better chance to hit. Let's take the early damage, and I will take um, the advice of my God. I can't even remember now. Sorry, I'm blanking out. I'm trying to talk and do things at the same time. Um, Talondale mentioning that we should be uh, warlording on our first shot. I, I do partially agree. Um, in instances like this where they haven't moved and it's turn two, uh, definitely it's a good chance, a good idea to do it if you can take a mech down early or at least strip something of almost all its armor before it closes with you. It's a good idea to do to use it. But once again, I still think it's not a, a must. It's a situational thing for me. I'm going to go to 6. Uh, if we jam, we jam. We're far enough away right now, so... Uh, let's leave the chaff off. We'll save that for later. Alright, five good hits on him. Stripping that armor away. Okay. Grand Dragon moving in. See, the Grand Dragon's a threat, sure, but if, like I said, if we could pull this guy down before the battle even starts, it would have been worth it. We had a better chance to hit, so... Man, I'm loving these friggin' uh, AMS systems. Gotta get a laser AMS for all my mechs, I think. Coming in at one ton. For the, I believe it's the clan version coming in at one ton. It's totally worth it. Okay, you're on the Raptor, please. Is 
see if we can shut this guy up early. Uh, one acid, one inferno. Firing. Standing by. Uh, yeah, he's got the T Samp. He's got the SPLs too, so that's a possibility to take a salvage later on. Targeting for physical attack. Bye. Sucks to be you. Hostile eliminated. Yes, Commander. Love to be able to get a shot on that Shadowhawk without uh, worrying about the Grand Dragon. It's not going to happen. We might be able to pull. Let's do this. Roger. Let's go after the catapult. It's going to be shit chances to hit, but we're okay with that. And uh, firing it all. Oh, okay, a couple hits, nice. Oh, you're moving the right way. I was hoping you were going to go a different direction. Ooh. Well, hello there. Well, hello there. Rack's probably going to jam on this one. Uh, we're going to leave the chaff off. Let's go with it. Gonna have to be careful. I gotta remember the ammo on that thing too, right? Yes, Commander. How close can we get to this guy? <sighs> Grand Dragon's fast. So right. let's not get that close. We're going to kill this guy with extreme prejudice, so I'm not really worried about that so much. The Inferno so much as I am getting acid on him. Okay, we got acid on him. A little bit of heat, that's fine. Once again, we're going to pull a guy down because we don't really care. Um, there's a lot, we've got seven pieces of catapult, so we should be able to get one out of this guy. Those guys aren't doing much. Uh, let's hold you off right now. What if they can't see us? I'm probably incorrect about that, but let's fire on this guy. Ooh. Let's use up a little bit of a resolve here. Well, at least we hit the with the tag in the CT. Okay, let's get the tag, hopefully, in the chaff on this guy. Oh, we got some chaff. That's good. Minus one to hit. I'm here. Um, we don't need that. This can go to Inferno. And firing. Sucks to be you, buddy. Rotary's jammed. That's fine. Huh. Yep. With the lack of secondary weapons, it's kind of hard to... Kind of hard to do much. It's kind of reason why I wanted to pull that rotary off. Is when it jams, and it does jam, it's just hard to uh, do anything with these secondary weapons. It won't stay powered up for long. So Sunflower, Megasaur, go. I'll get Megasaur to punch the uh, catapult in the back, I think. Give it a good jump off point, and then I'll get... I'll get... Um, yeah, that'll work. So Megasaur is going to punch... going to Berserker it. 
I want to take this guy down hopefully in one shot. So we're going to punch this guy in the back. Location confirmed. Get this guy out of the way with. Alright. Yeah, they don't want to show that. It's just too brutal. Pieces are flying everywhere. Dead pilot body parts flying through the air. Alright, so Sunflower, uh, I want you on the Shadowhawk. From the front. Hopefully we hit that CT. And why would we? Rack should be back now. It is. So we're going to crank that down. we got to watch our ammo. Uh, so we're going to pull this down to three. And we're going to shoot on this guy here. Still not enough. I want Red Comet on the uh, Grand Dragon. This guy's not having a good day, man. Good try. Stand and buy. All right. Let's hope we got enough to uh, shut this guy down. I'm just going to Inferno him. I think I want to take some parts from this guy, maybe. Well, at least give us the option. Because we do have Grand Dragon. We have one Grand Dragon part. Okay, let's finish this guy off. Um, I feel pretty confident about going before... Well, I'm not that confident. Before the Grand Dragon. Tag, you're it. Oh, I'm sorry, he's just taking a bit of a dirt nap. Um, Red Comet's going on 17, unfortunately. Which means we got to fire suppress this guy. Uh, we got really great chances to hit. Our Warlord's back, so let's confirm this. Offensive push. I'm gonna try and take this leg, and we're gonna crank it up to four shots. Throw the chaff on. Firing. Oh, not quite enough. Ah, we didn't do too bad, I guess. Oh, let's stay on the side. Got it. Cool off a bit here. Offensive push. Oops. Leg. Firing. There we go. He's going down! Now nah, let's shut his ass down here. Now, I don't know if being on the other side makes a difference to targeting. Uh, we're going to shut this leg off. Or try and shoot the leg off, that is. Um, I seem to have had harder times hitting opposite sides, being over here. So if you're shooting the left side and you're on the right, I've had a harder time to take things down. Uh, we should have this guy gone this turn, so let's do this. Let's get everything started. Waiting for orders. You need to move your ass up. Ah, uh, not that side. Get to be in the front here. We got to see the other leg. Hull and ass. ass. You bet your asteroids, kid. Here it comes. Tag, motherfucker. Um, let's push this leg again. Uh, I'm gonna leave the rack off, though. Go with everything else. Uh, let's leave the chaff off. We don't need that. He's already chapped. Ah, shit. Oh, well. Ah, he's dead anyway. That's all that matters. Um. How bold do I want to be? Don't know if we're going to have a second lance here. Let's just get you up here. We might have a second lance. We do. Urban mech. <sighs> 
What's up, boss? Okay, see if we spot anything else. Okay, we got other stuff here. What do we got? Kintaro, Hatchetman, Centurion. Wow. Don't even bother shooting. Ready for orders. No shooting, just running. Uh, fire on this guy. It's going to be hard to hit the first time they're dropped in, but that's why we just turn everything off. Or jump, you know, drop in the water, just fire with lasers. No point in using anything else. Uh, yeah. Uh, I want red comet on the hatchetman. So let's get back. We just move back here. Can't can't turn the way we want to. Got it. Full speed, no target. Okay, let's see what they do here. Commander. Uh, let's tear this urban mech a new Affirmative. one. Yep. It's got two PPCs. Think I hit something good. Yes, Commander. Uh, the hatchet man shouldn't get me from here. Lots of evasion. I'm gonna fire on the centurion here. Let's get the chaff on them too. Oh, you got all of them, eh? How much we can do about that? Get the rack back on. Going after this guy. I think both of his PPCs are in the right arm. Uh, do we have enough? I don't think we got enough juice. We're gonna put the cha chaff on. Something got destroyed. He's going down. Oh, we got his leg. Okay. I'd like to get some of those PPCs. I would definitely switch out. If we got a couple of those PPCs that were plus 10 damage, minus 10 heat, I would definitely switch out the rack for those. We lost two. We are two good ones on the... Uh, on the Thunderbolt there. Kentaro's norm... Notoriously heat unfriendly. This is in hatchetman range, though. Like, I should just go right up this guy's nose and melt him. But I think it's a bad idea. Let's start with the Centurion. Quick step in it. Mix these up. Acid and Inferno. And we're going to hold off on the Warlord for now. Hit him. Yeah, I got the AMS going on there. See what they do. Hatchetman's gonna walk in and shoot. Kintaro, I don't know where you, what you're gonna go after. Come on, finish him up, guys. Hit the CT. Don't kill the PPCs. Thanks for showing up, buddy. Somebody's getting a berserker next turn. Oh yeah, moving close. That's good. So our flame hawk should be able to shut down the hatchetman. Griffin should be able to punch the centurion in the back and destroy him. Urban mech will die, and then it'll just be the Kintaro left. That we have to deal with. In theory. Turdby's getting up. Oh man. Sucks to be you, dude. Understood. Moving back. Mm, don't quite have the uh, visual range here. See if we can take his leg off. Uh, do we want to warlord this? Probably not. We lost, or he's already lost one of the PPCs. 
All right, we hit something. Don't think it was the leg. Half file removed. Find out in the loot table. That's for damn sure. Oh, we need berserker. Megasaur. Here it comes. Sucks to be you, buddy. XL engines, my friends, don't use them. Unless they're clan. Clan XLs, sure. Regular XLs, not generally a good choice. Let's take some pot shots at the Kentaro. Really bad chances to hit, but we're going to fire... Let's just go with two. I want to save my ammo for the last bit. So I know we'll have another Lance here. Comet... I don't want to get that Kentaro to be able to see us. So let's get up here. This is definitely a Warlord. I want to make sure this guy does get shut down. We're going to go with Acid as well. Firing. Acknowledge. Oh, not, a, not, not quite enough heat. Thought we are definitely going to have enough there. Uh-huh. Minimal damage on that hit. Yeah, man, that's like the alpha strike that puts you almost completely into the red is bad. I was worried about that. I thought I would have enough to we were so down. close to shutting that guy down and I should have used the uh I should have used all the SRMs as Inferno. My bad. Standing by. Acknowledged. Should shoot this guy. Giving him everything I've got. Ooh, where are my horns at? Down, 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 down. Goodbye. Tango down. Once again, XL engines, don't use them. Unless you're really good. You got a few more turns to go. Let's crank this up to four. Leave the chaff off. Uh, firing. Ooh. Enemy mech. LRM dead fire ammo explosion. Goodbye. I'm here. Roger. No point in going anywhere. All right, let's get set up. Waiting for orders. On my way. Double time. Mega sore. We need sprint area range. Let's get down behind here, maybe. That should give us some cover. We're still walking these guys up, so we'll stay close. Just gonna put her here for now. Move order received. Come on, you guys. So we're gonna be at least three turns. Standing by. Oh. Yeah, I better make sure I'm hidden. Receiving you. She's okay. Confirmed. Holding. Just get on this side. And then we'll bring Red Comet up over here. Get some support for uh, Megasaur. 
All right, here we go, guys. Let's find out what we get. You're in position, Commander. Hold your ground until the package is on its way. Oh, there's another catapult. Two in. Vindicator 1A, so he's lightly armored. Three in. Okay, we're gonna have two turns of fighting before these guys are out of here. Better make sure we tag everybody. We need someone down right in the right in the midst of things, and it cannot be you. Let's get over here. Oh, we're only at we can only see two, huh? Maybe there is only two. Uh, they just dropped in. Spire one. Uh, leaving the chaff off and firing. Let's see what they do here. Oh, they're almost out. What else do we got here? Shadowhawk. Catapult disappeared. What's up, boss? Yeah, man. Firing. Got it. Reporting critical hit. Okay. What's this guy? Catapult. Have they got two catapults there? I don't think so. Well, we're about to find out what they have. If they got anything else. All right, let's move. They got two catapults. They got a Kansas City catapult. Which I think is more dangerous. So we're going to fire on this guy with this. Ready for orders. Oh, yeah. Should have used Berserker, but it's fine. Still got lots of juice. There goes the leg. Oh man, we should take five catapult parts. Could you imagine if we get like like nine catapult parts in total? Yes, Commander. Uh, what? Oh, I gotta, there, I gotta confirm it. Shadowhawk's got a lot of junk on him, so let's hammer him hard. Maybe we can kill him. Uh, yep. God, she's so brutal. Target eliminated. Orders? I want a leg. I need you to go leg hunting. I want this leg here, please. Thank you. Mech destroyed. Okay, next. Um, let's grind this guy to a pulp. Chaff, just in case he gets a chance to shoot. That's fine. Rack's jammed, ah. Shit. I'm losing 
armor bad. That's okay. We're gonna shut him down in a second. He got to shut himself down. I'm receiving you. Confirmed. Sure. Affirmative. We're coming for your legs. There we go. Well, it'd be interesting if we had four catapults in total. Damage minimal. Objective secured. See ya. Come on. Ready for orders. Uh. Wait, where did the uh, oh vindicator moved here? He just wanted to die, I guess. He's like, just kill me too. I can't go back with a failure like this. I don't know, you think you need to... Well, let's move closer. Uh, give me that leg if you can, please. This one right here. Ah, shit. Ah, well. There we go, folks. Alright, contract payment increased by 40%. This should more than cover our, any damage that we'd accrued, which really wasn't much. We took a lot of damage in the flame hawk and the arm there, right at the very end. Uh, we didn't lose anything, though. So that's kind of a bonus. Yeah, no pilot injuries. Wow, look at the kills. Look at Megasaur. Seven kills. Seven kills. Would have been nice if she could have got a double ace, but still nice. All right, well, I think we know what we want here. Now, we want KC parts. That's the four laser, two ballistic, two missile. And this one is... Four laser, four missiles. It's the kind of the one we already have. So I think we want to go with KC parts. Uh, there's only one, unfortunately. Grand Dragon parts. Hatchetman, Kentaro, Raptor parts. Shadowhawk. Urban Mech. 8Q. That's the double PPC version. So let's see what else we have down here. Did any of those PPC survive? Medium VS VSPL. Different firing modes, eh? Weapon damage falls off. Multi-shot barrage, MMLs. These would be really nice for the uh, for a catapult build for sure. Double plus PPC. I'm gonna grab that. Um, Angels, Bloodhound probes. Regular XL engine, Artemis system. We already have one of these guys, so we don't need another one. Fire control system approved. I think we have a couple of these. Yeah. Gyro XLs we have, heat sink cooling pods we could use, but I don't think it's as important as the mech parts are. Double heat sink kits, we're down to one, but that's okay. We have prototype heat sink kits too, but we just don't have a lot of prototype heat sinks. I think we got like one of them. Patchwork materials range finder. We need we do need sensors though. That's the one thing we do need. Accuracy sensors would be nice. Let's drop that in. Oh, the weapon mount too. Used to be able to find these in stores. I don't find them very much anymore. Okay, so let's grab those. And then let's grab, for sure we want to grab this guy. And we grab one of these. Or do we take a Grand Dragon part? Yeah, 
I don't know. Iron Curtain. What about the Shadowhawk? Two, two, and three. This guy is eight laser. This is the current one that we have. That's a pot. Well, I don't know. It's not really going to get us any. Well, you know what, though? Double plus Goss Rifle. We've got a, one of these guys already, the LRMs. Double chance to deal crit with this weapon, plus 5 heat. 10 heat, not a big deal. <sighs> Once again, it's such a hard selection, right? The MML 9s are really, really nice. But you know what? We were talking about taking mech parts. And I'm thinking we need to take a heavy mech. As much as I'd like to take another Shadowhawk, we've got a lot of 55 ton mechs. So let's take a heavy mech part. Uh, I'm going to take a catapult part. This will give a better chance of getting another catapult in the future. Um, Grand Dragon's kind of nice, but it's pretty much got the same, uh, relatively the same hard points as, I believe, this guy. Yeah. 2, 4, and 2. This is 2, 4, and 2 as well, right? Yeah, it's about the same. So let's just confirm this. All right, one, two, three catapult parts, a raptor part. We did get a shadow hawk part. That's all right. Three urban mech parts. That's interesting. Be nice to see if we get an urban mech. So I know we got a bunch of parts. We got the gauss rifle. Nice. The large laser with plus five damage. That's not too bad actually. Five tons for fifty damage. Uh, what else do we get? XL engine we can sell. We got another one of these guys. Some jump jets. We chose these two and LBX cluster ammo. So, okay, not bad. Okay, Ooh, a lot of stuff happened while we were away. Uh, let's see here. Okay, we got a C2. All right, not a big deal. Ah, Shredder Autocan Tuesday. Well, let's see what it's got on it. And we did get an Urban Mac. Oh, it's their 60L. Oh, well. Okay, 40,000. That's pretty good. Let's just check our max. We're just going to scrap the Urban Mech. We got another one sitting in the bays anyway, so um, let's have a look here. Interested to see. Interested to see. Doesn't look like we got anything off this guy. This whole arm is scrapped. Well, we've got a bit of ammo. That's really about it. So let's just scrap this guy. Don't really need anything off of him. So I was adding to the C-bills. That's all right. It's going to help us for our financial reports and stuff. So scrap this. And 230,000. Not bad. Catapult C2. Doesn't look like there's much left on this guy either. Maybe the missile system. Yeah, wow. Look at this. Totally wrecked. Did get an LRM 15 though. So it does have ballistic hard points in the torsos. So that's a possibility to add some ballistic stuff. Uh, we're going to get this guy fixed up. And I think if I remember correctly, we have to leave these things in here or else they'll come out as unrepaired. It's not a big deal. We'll do that. 653,000. It's a lot to repair this, but. We need to do it, so we're going to go ahead and do it. Let's confirm this. Yeah, it's too bad we lost so much off this guy. That could be a close-in build with the auto cannons and stuff. We might be able to put uh, a couple of LBX-5s or something on there, and who knows. Uh, but while that's doing that, let's go back to the contracts. Got a second lance that needs to get rolled out here. And we're going to take Settling a Grudge, I think. Uh, finish off with something a little quicker. It is against Outworld Alliance. That's fine. We're not, we just got need a whole bunch of rep with these guys anyway. So what are we at? Yeah, 66. That's not bad. So let's take this one. And we'll go full salvage, of course. Accept it. And let's get our second lance in here. Wow, the Griffin didn't... Megasaur didn't take any damage to the Griffin. That's just incredible. 
All right, so uh, we are going to go with the uh, Wolverine, the Crab, the Raptor, and the Hunchback. And we got Chupacabra coming in here at the end. We got Satori and Sheet Metal and, um, yeah, Sound Sonic. And yeah, let's do this. So I just realized as I click go, we got Chupacabra and Sheet Metal in the wrong mechs. Ready for orders. Well, I guess she's going to learn how to shoot. And Chupacabra is going to learn how to punch. Let's move. I, hear ya. I think we'll be okay, though. You know what it is? It's that uh, Falcon Freeborn. The way the... Uh, Mech pilots are laid out. That's generally what I do. But we're not in that game right now. On it. So my arm is still really hurting me. Um, I do have an arm brace now, so it's actually better than what it was, that's for sure. Okay, I heard a couple vehicles. Commander. How far can you get up here? Let's get up here. Roger that. Full speed. What do we got here? Akuma. Akuma Matata. What's up, boss? Chupi. Uh, we don't want to shoot yet. I want to get within range here. So let's just use hey. this. Speed of sound sonic. Let's get up here. Waiting for and Satori back here. So they got reinforcements, most likely. Receiving you. Let's reserve you. Waiting for my opening. Okay, what else do we got back here now? Chiquita. Chiquita. By God, let's give this guy the what for. Okay. Stood still, did you? Well, we got some stuff here for you. Got some acid on him, nice. I've been sent a lot. Well, with any luck, this guy won't get a chance to shoot. Got it. Yeah, pretty good chances to hit. Actually, relatively solid armor here. Firing. All weapons are go. Wow, those two largest missed. Yeah. He's running. Chicken. Okay, a Griffin. Okay. Let's get into fisticuff range. Stinger. Standing by. I think the second lance is all going to be uh, vehicles. So I think Got it's it. going to be four max four vehicles. It's just a guess, but got a feeling that's what it'll be. Firing. Might as well get started on them if we can. Uh, to have fire maneuver, which we don't have because I didn't put you in the right mech. Uh, let's reserve you. Let's see if they want to get close. Come on, can't spot him, eh? Hey. Hey. Can now. Ooh, back shot. Back shot. Back shot. Well, ah, lousy chance at a back shot. A little bit better chance here. Uh, yeah, let's go this route. That acid is not going to help you in a second. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. They're heading your way. Got it. 
Huh. Let's give this a shot. Ah, uh, not bad. That acid helped out with the damage there. Stinger is not too much of a concern. And I don't think this guy is too much of a concern either. 220 damage coming up. Here it comes. Da -na 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 -na. Goodbye. Tango down. Hope Chupacabra doesn't get too much enjoyment out of that. Can't have all my pilots in melee mix. Size so sheet metal is a better name for somebody piloting a metal me a uh, melee mech that is. Okay. Griffin. Huh. SRM six and dead fire, huh? Yes, Commander. I got the same thing. But I think the stinger needs to taste that first. Confirm. See if we can burrow a hole through the side of this guy. Yeah, not likely, but we're gonna fire it all. Actually let's leave the ultra off. Uh, let's do this. Okay, I got the leg. Yeah. How badly do I want to shoot this guy in the back? That's not going to give me much of a chance to hit, is it? Uh, we're overheating too, so I got to worry about that. Let's get around. Play a little safer. Let's get around here. And we're going to target this guy. See if we can take the uh, torso CT. How much he got in the CT here? Yeah, not much. Going to go for the CT. Uh... Do I want to go two larges? No, I think we want to go this route. Uh -huh. Not what I was hoping for. Want some more? Huh? Comes the Akuma. Ooh. Ow. I'm taking internal damage. There goes the knockdown, damn it. I'm here. Orders. I know we're going to have problems hitting, but we got to do something. Wow, that's a lot of heat. Uh, I say we take the heat. Let's do this. Firing. Yeah, you're gonna melee next turn anyway. I've been sensor locked. Oh, no. Throttling up for what it's worth. Ah, uh, try and get acid on him. Fourteen damage per hit. Ten damage with a better chance to hit. So two missiles will definitely hit here. So I think we're better off going with the accuracy. 
Yep. Maybe we'll freak him out and make him move away. Ah, uh, we're watching it. Come on. Yep, second guessed it. Good. Ha! Send me a real opponent. Don't say things like that, man. Oh, Jesus Christ! Up with all the headshots, man. Wait, what? How are we taking what the fuck? I don't even okay, whatever. Cheating. Okay, regained footing. I'm good to go. Roger that. Putting my weight into it. Yeah, they can't show us that. Tango down. Can't show us that. That was just so horrible. Stinger's getting up. It's nice that the Stinger's not a uh, miniature Black Knight anymore. Light damage, Commander. Let's get fired up. There's work to do. Yes, Commander. Okay, not bad. See if we can remove this problem from the map. Not quite. Target's taking a critical hit. I'm healed. Hmm. Alright, uh, let's dead fire this up now. And firing. Well, he's a stick. Okay. Man, we really got heat problems on this map. We'll have to wait a turn afterwards before we go after those vehicles. Let's go here. And... Still got lots of left in the CT. Let's take a pot shot headshot. Why not? Uh, yeah, let's go this route. Okay, he bailed. Nice. So that's a good amount of Griffin parts if we can get some. Well, not really a good amount. Probably get like three parts or something. We lost the head, so CT and legs maybe. It's a fucking Zukov too. We definitely need to cool our asses off here. We'll hold 28 damage. Affirmative. Yeah. We 
We need to turn the cooldown for sure. What? No. Alright, let's finish this guy up. Oh, that was fortunate. Enemy mech destroyed. Nicely done. Waiting for orders. Roger. Good to go. On my way. Cooling off. Yes, Commander. On my way. I got a cargo truck, a hunter, a bola, and a Zukov. I don't think we've got the range just yet. Hey. Can we get on these guys? We can. The question is do we want to yet? Next turn, I think. I guess. Waiting on you, Commander. Resting Inner brace. Got it. There we go. Bola Dominus. What now? Speed of sound, Sonic. Let's spot up everybody here. I'll try. Okay, so. Zukov, 220 on the front, 160 on the side. So that's squashable, definitely. This guy's got a lot of armor, too. Gun technical most likely does not. And the hunter doesn't really have all that much either. So, we dead fire all this. Uh, we better make sure we get acid on this guy. So I can finish him up next turn, so let's do this. That's a good chunk of damage. Not bad. I think we got range Ready for orders. to get on that uh, Zukov. See if we can kill this gun technical. And yep. Yep. Target taken a Nice. Target. What can I do for you? I do this. Moving. And this, and hope we get enough. Hopefully, get enough damage in the front of this guy. Maybe knock him off. We'll see. Not quite. Good damage, though. Good hits. Close. All right. Commander. Oh, we don't have the range. We can kill this guy, so let's do it. Copy that. Here it comes. Targeting for physical and attack. squash. One more for the trash. You got that right. All right, they get to go though. They could do some damage. Zukov could. That guy's panicking. Okay. Do 
He's definitely in squash range. Oof. Total misses. Let's finish these guys up. Go home. Commander. Cheat. Metal. On it. Yeah, I'm firing this guy. Aye, aye. Oh, we hit with one anyway. Oof. Terrible chance to hit. Little better from the back. But if we miss stepping on that uh, Zukov, we're in trouble. Okay, let's get to here. And firing. Already got acid on him, so we're going dead fire. Almost out of dead fire ammo. Okay, we got him. Okay, I think we want to step on the front, so we're going to shoot from the front. And yeah, we're going to fire everything, not really worried about the heat. Commencing alpha strike. You could fry an egg in here. You could. Standing by. But you're not going to. Here it comes. Digga, 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 digga. And squash. Yeah, let's trade mechs back. Supercarbon and sheet metal need to trade max back. Mission successful. All right, increase to twenty percent. This should be more than enough to fix our max, which is great. Yeah, I mean, not much we can do. That Griffin did do a lot of damage, but even in this uh, punch back, Chupacabra did racked up a few kills here. All right, so I'm not really sure what happened with sheet metal getting hit in the head like that. Um, the head took no damage, so... Ooh! Pirate ER medium. Gonna take that. That's always good. Flail, huh? 3 times 35 damage? Yes, please. Um... Did that say... Able to fire during melee combat. Plus 1 to hit. 120% chance to deal with a critical hit. Okay. Weapon damage can plus or minus 10. That's fine. E cooling plus 1. It's not bad. 280 engine. 275. I was we're hoping we had one of these a little while ago, but we didn't have one. So, uh, XL. I think we're going to take a Griffin part, though. Or melee retractable blade. Sensor flight, really. Death from above damage. That's kind of cool. Retractable blade. Uh, what else we got down here? SRM. No MRMs. Okay. So, Heavy Pharaoh. That would kind of be nice too. I don't think it's necessary though. What do we not see all that often? Uh, this is just arm accuracy, melee accuracy, bonus melee damage. That might be a possibility. I'm thinking we should be putting a little bit of extra melee damage stuff on some of the mechs that are fast. Like the uh, Flame Hawk would be a good instance. Just in case we need to cool down and apply some other damage. 40% melee damage is pretty good. Um, oof. We don't have a 280 or a 275 core either. I think I want to grab one of these guys. Because I might put it in the... Um, I might put it in the catapult. As much as I want to take the Griffin part. Uh, once again, we don't need more medium max. We got plenty, so let's just go with this. Alright, Griffin. We did get a Griffin part, so that's good. Light AC5. We got like how many of these now? Nine of them. 
light rifle we can sell ML, MML3 vehicle flamer okay well let's see it um, C3 oh that's the that's the command uh, C3 right yeah okay well uh, okay okay let's have a look here 33,000 not bad let's have a look at what we did for the planet here I don't think we're close to flipping it I'm saying maybe 12% um, so we're okay for our financial report ah 14% not bad okay so I'm gonna leave the episode here guys I'm gonna get everything we paired up between episodes uh, next episode we'll take a couple more missions on this planet uh, let's actually move forward our main lance Waymock took some damage there last time. Two bushwhackers can move forward. We'll be back before the financial report. Catapult's going to take a while to fix. Oh, we need the Wolverine. No, we don't need the Wolverine back. But we can move it up a little. So... There we go. So we should have... If we do, well, I guess we better leave the hunchback up there. Yeah, that's fine. So in seven days, we'll have our main lance back. Just before the financial report, the secondary lance won't be back, but we'll be able to take a mission right off the bat next time. And then one right after the financial report, so we're okay. Uh, sheet metal's out of action for 30 days, so she's not, I guess we're going to have to do our main lance for two, twice in a row. But that's fine. All right, guys, we're going to leave the episode there. If you'd like to drop a like... If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And uh, yeah, until next time, we'll see you later.